Hello and welcome back to um, me playing Final Fantasy IV. Uh, when last we left off, we got betrayed by Cain again. And he took the last crystal. <clears throat> I really feel bad for Cain. He is not getting treated very well in this game. I don't think there's anything up here. Alright, well. Let's, uh... Eh. I can't remember if we need to go here or to the uh, tower first. I think it's here. So, let's go back to the king. You've returned! Where is the crystal? The truth is, you did not succeed in retrieving it, so Gold Buzz holds all the crystals. There is nothing we can do now. That is, unless the legendary Lunar Whale is true. The Lunar Whale? A huge ship spoken of in legend, once born of a dragon. The Mycidian legend. You know of Mycidia? It's the home of the mages in the overworld. Mysidia truly exists? I've never met an elder, Mys elder of Mysidia before. He prays. Oh, I've met the elder of Mysidia. He prays tirelessly in the a tower. He prays, you say? Yes, why do you ask? Perhaps he prays for the lunar whale. You must hurry to Mysidia. The way to the surface is sealed off. We can't get near the Tower of Babel either. Then dig your way out. Sid! <clears throat> I'll attach a drill to the Falcon's bow. 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 Shouldn't you be in bed? Nah, no worries. Are you sure you're up to it? Easier than falling off a bike. Okay, let's get to work. Besides, you have all the dwarves to help you out, too. Clang, clang. Actually, I think we're almost done with this game. Because, let's see. There's those two caverns down here that we need to visit, which is... One's the summoning cave, one's... Something else? I don't actually remember what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember what the other one does. Maybe I should have done that before I lost Kane. <laughs> I can stock up on cottages and, uh... Sid! Sid, you really should have stayed in bed. I guess I need to step away from the action for a while. Other than messing with airships, I'm not much use anymore. My hat's off to you, old man. You're really something. Get well, okay? Look after Cecil and Rosa. Don't worry. Just get some rest. Take care of yourselves, you hear? You too. All right, get out of here. Thanks for everything. Um, I've got to figure out how to get to... Actually, I should probably go over here. And by 
cottages. Let's see, that's the bed. Uh, cottages. Wait, how many do I have? Oh wow, I have 14. I didn't realize I had that many. Alright, 20 there. Uh, let's go with 27. Wait, 17. High Potion, Dwarven Brown, Bread, Geshel Greens, Remedies. So seven, eight, ten, uh, eleven. Oh, you know what sucks? You can't press up to do ten at a time. I wonder if you can do that in later ones, because I know you could do it in six, I want to say. And I'm pretty sure you could also do it in five. Wait, how many do I have? Twenty. Ten. Ten. Yeah, these things are cheap enough. Let's just go with it. Yeah, we'll just stock up on these things because... If I need them, I'm going to want to have them. There. 90 of each. That gives us a little wiggle room for... Um, what? How do I get out of here? Oh, good. Okay. Or not. Hmm. I don't know where the other items are, but that's fine. I don't care. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, if I... If I... Run across, uh... Them. Um... I think I'm gonna get somebody new soon, maybe. And... Drill our way out. Good old Sid. Um, the city is up here. Oh, that's the black chocobo. Okay. I was trying to figure out what all the blue dots were. Uh, the one in the kind of Westerly side of, uh, of this place is the Black Chocobo. Is that Mysidia? No, I don't think that's Mysidia. Nope, that's Fabul. And then the two dots down south are the other airship and Mysidia's right over here. Uh, magic you. I have sight. What? Wait, what? What? What, what are... Okay, hang on. I gotta go... I gotta explore some of these things. What? There, there's a thing down here? What is this that's down here? What? Okay. I think that might be where the lunar whale appears, maybe. Okay, so due north is that little island. 
I haven't done anything on this island. What's... Oops. Okay, so what's here? That's a chocobo forest. Okay. That's cool. Um... Okay, so there's a green somewhere here. Aha, there it is. Okay. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, uh, there is a thing around here somewhere. Okay, let's magic you again. Sight. Okay, so due north. Um, hmm. I wonder what's here. Uh, Kate Sith. Ah, uh, anyway. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about something. And I'm so forgetful. Um. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh well. Uh, so today I was the last day of tutoring. And I found out, man, I work with a lot of two young people. They, One person, actually several people, had never heard. They'd heard of North by Northwest, the movie, but they'd never heard of um, of the Maltese Falcon. That just seemed really weird to me that they wouldn't know. They would know one, but not the other. They're both classic movies. And then they tried to go, oh, but I like old movies. I'm like, do you really? If you don't seem to have ever seen a Humphrey Bogart movie, then. I mean, he is pretty famous for that movie. Alright, well, I don't think... I don't think... Wait, what's this? Oh, that's another Chuckle Forest. I can go grab another green from here. All right. Yeah, it just, it puzzles me when they, they claim to like something, but I'm like, but these are pretty famous movies. How are you, how are you claiming to be fans of old things and not know these? I actually made Maltese Falcon as a joke, too. <laughs> um... Because the quarter's over this Thursday or next Thursday. One or the other is um, movie night. And I, I won't be attending because I have to work that day. But um, but uh, I joked, hey, they're going to show the Maltese Falcon. Because, you know, we're doing, a, we're doing the noir campaign. So I was like, oh, Maltese Falcon's a pretty famous one. So I mentioned it as a joke and... 
they had no idea what I was talking about. And I was like, oh, uh, hmm. That's, uh, interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's move on over. The drill bit in the front just looked weird going over the city. <gasps> oh! We knew you would return. Please join us at the Tower of Worship. One born of a dragon, bearing darkness and light, will rise to the heavens over the still land. The moon's eternal light brings a promise to earth with bounty and grace. Okay. Everyone, let us pray. Now is the time to make the legend come true. Oh, 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 and here's the Lunar Whale, which is another airship. The third I get in this little adventure. Our prayers have been answered. <clears throat> Still looks as dumb as I remember it. I never liked the design of that thing. It looked way too big. Oh, but that's some cool effects it has now. I don't remember it doing that in the original. No, there is no doubt. That is the great and glorious vessel itself, the Lunar Whale. A strange voice addressed me during our prayers. It told me you are to fly to the moon and that someone awaits you there. But how can we possibly get there? On the Lunar Whale, according to our ancient Mycidian documents, there is a crystal inside the ship that allows navigation between here and the moon. You can communicate with it. I'll see what I can do. Ooh, good night. You are fully healed, but you are still hungry. All set. <laughs> no items in storage. Uh, in um, the 3D remake. Oh, okay. So they both go up. All right. Yeah, that is the reason I did not like the Lunar Whale, because that thing just absolutely massive. Massive, and takes so much space on the screen. It reminds me of, um... What was the final ship from the FF3? Because it also was just massive. Took up so much space. So we've gone to almost all the places. Where, where is the place that's supposed to be here? All right. Well, let's just go to the moon. I'm okay with this. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, that actually looks a little better too. Ah, I just got the achievement to the moon. Whoa. The moon is not very big. Um, I think that... No. Okay, so that's not it. 
Um, aha. What's here? Nope, that's not it either. Hmm. Okay, hang on, hang on. I think that's Bahamut Slayer. Alright, so let's see. Oh, wait, you know what? Magic, you, Cecil, sight. Okay. One of these is Bahamut Slayer. I think the circle one is Bahamut Slayer. Um, Alright, let's just go to one of them. Oh. We are humming ways. Good for you. Long ago, one of our people built a ship and traveled to the blue planet. He was adept at naming things. Yes, yeah, cool. Can you do anything? You wish to change your name? Whatever do you mean? Hum, hum, hum. Hum, hum, hum. <laughs> okay, so not there. Okay, where do we go then? Okay, let's see. Is this Bahamut Slayer? Wow. They do quite a bit of damage. Wow, they do a lot of damage. Uh, let's just start. Yeah, we'll go with that. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys just need to die. Okay, good. Uh, huh. Let's see. Ugh. Cave of Bahamut? That's definitely not where I want to go. Yeah, I was right. That is Bahamut Slayer. Okay, so magic. Hmm. Because I kind of wanted to get, um... My last character... Before I go. Because I would like my last character before I, uh... Go and get the last summons. Alright, so what's... Oh, I wish there was just a quick way to land. Okay, well... Jeez. Uh, ooh. <clears throat> wow, what? How much health does that guy have? A lot. Wow. Okay, so hang on. Uh, Western Luna Path. Okay, so hang on. If I go there... Of course. 
Whoa! You carry out and a pro carry out. Wow, these. I think I might have needed to. Oh my god. Come on. Let's uh, run away. Let's run away. Run away. Run away. I can't escape. Okay. Um, Phoenix down. Uh, we attack. We white magic. We will cure Raga, the whole group. And we will attack you. Uh, we will Shiva you. And we'll attack you. Okay. Golden Apple. Yes, because 25 hit points is... Oh, 100 hit points. Okay. Okay, so equip you. Optimal. Alright, well, let's uh, heal everybody. Alright, so... Diamond dust. Yay, kill them all. Or not. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do. Oh man. Um, what I'm probably going to wind up doing is grinding here a little bit because, oh my gosh, those red worms are worth quite a bit of experience. And if I can just run into the uh, lunar whale right after each of these fights and rest, that's a pretty good way of doing it. It's not to waste cottages or tents. I just kind of wish I had my fifth party member I might actually go back during the next episode and just collect whatever was in the cave down um, in the underground area which I think I'll do that and then I'll grind or maybe I should grind off screen that way when I go to that cave yeah I'm gonna do that all right <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Uh oh. <sighs> Man, these red worms are just absolute health monsters. Items. Wow, yeah, they're just absolutely annihilating me. Uh, summon, Titan. Okay. Alright, let me get to the Lunar Rail real quick and we'll call it an episode. Alright, 
Well, I hope everybody is having a good day and being careful out there. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye now.